Road Roller, let's go. Road Roller was a move for the world that was first added on December 5th, 2020 in the version 0.645 patch, alongside Aura Kicks for Star Platinum and a few other things. When you used Road Roller, it would take a portion of your rage bar if you weren't in time stop and leap into the air to spawn a tractor, then slam it into the ground, punching the tractor and slamming down again to finish Road Roller, dealing immense damage. Now on paper, Road Roller sounds good. It is designed to be a punish move, does a lot of damage, and you are also given iframes during Road Roller. But in use, Road Roller doesn't quite live up to the expectations it was given. There are four major flaws for Road Roller. The first flaw was that Road Roller took way too long to pull out as the windup animation took two seconds, which meant that you probably weren't going to land it out of time stop. So on March 29th, 2021, Uzuki released the version 0.72 patch, which reduced Road Roller's windup, making it a lot faster now. The second flaw for Road Roller was the damage. Now, Road Roller does a total of 50-ish damage without rage, which sounds really good, but the underlying problem was the fact that Boxing and Hamon users had 25% and 30% damage reduction, which lowers the damage and would leave us at a total of 37-ish damage. Now, this still sounds really powerful, but in reality, it doesn't since they both have damage reduction and Road Roller has a very, very long cooldown. So, Uzu released another update, the version 0.746 patch, on April the 2nd, where he buffed Road Roller's damage. So now this flaw is obsolete now, right? Nope. You see, he buffed the slam damage from 20 to 30. So now, Road Roller did a monstrous 70-ish damage. And that wasn't even the end of it. Hamon users have a passive where if you have Hamon charged, you will do 25% more damage and 60% against vampires you can probably see where this is going. So now, not only did Road Roller do 70 damage, if you had Hamon, you would approximately deal 85 plus damage in a single move. This was broken, so Uzu nerfed Road Roller damage again the same day in the 0.755 patch from 30 to 25. The third flaw was the way Road Roller worked. You see, Road Roller was a very powerful move, but the problem was that both of the slams for Road Roller were block breaks, which doesn't sound bad, but you need to remember that one slam of Road Roller is 25 damage, which would essentially be half of the overall damage for Road Roller, so getting block broken by Road Roller would save you from taking an extra 25 damage. Another flaw was that the stun on Road Roller wasn't enough because if you got hit by Road Roller, there was a possibility that you could simply walk out of it because of the knockback from the punches. So, on August 20th, Uzu released an update which reworked KQ and KQBTD, but more importantly, it buffed Road Roller so that now Road Roller ignores block and is harder to walk out of now. But this still didn't solve the stun problem because the knockback could still push you out of Road Roller, so it was still bad. And to this day, the problem actually hasn't been solved yet. And that is the history of Road Roller. Hopefully this was informative and something new in your YVA feed, since this is something original I thought of and it seemed perfect, especially now after Road Roller's been through a lot of changes. Make sure to subscribe and like the video so that I know you guys enjoy this stuff, and comment down below on what I should cover next.